Love is in the air and the aisles at Whole Foods Market. Head in now for the love affair and make it a memorable Valentine's Day with great deals on finds like Animal Welfare Certified New York Strip Steaks and sweets from the bakery. Set the mood with fresh, beautiful flowers from Whole Foods Market, where Prime members can pick up a double dozen bunch of roses for just $24.99 from February 8th through the 14th. Shop in-store or online. Terms apply. Fall in love at Whole Foods Market. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2032. My Dead Simple Approach to Healthy Eating by Matt McLeod of mattmcleod.org. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Happy Monday and welcome back to another week of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. And with that, let's get right to the post as we optimize your life. My Dead Simple Approach to Healthy Eating by Matt McLeod of mattmcleod.org. Today, I'm going to teach you my dead simple approach to healthy eating without hating your life. After being in the fitness industry for a decade and personally coaching over 300 clients, I've realized nutrition mostly comes down to a few big rocks. Of course, there are plenty of other things that are important, but less so than what I'm about to show you. The problem for most is shiny object syndrome. You're not sure what matters for your nutrition and you don't trust your knowledge enough to verify fact from fiction. So your beliefs are thrown around like strings of a puppet. And it's not your fault. This stuff can be complicated and nutrition information is more abundant than ever. But after hearing this, you'll be more confident than ever on where to point your efforts and attention. Let's dive in. The three daily nutrition targets I have every client focus on are one, a calorie range, two, a protein minimum, and three, a fiber minimum. Yep, that's it. I know, sounds kind of boring, but the results are dramatic. And when I say results, I don't just mean general weight loss. I've chosen these three specifically to increase muscle mass and strength, decrease fat mass, and improve overall health and biomarkers. I'll show you how by breaking down each one. Target one, daily calorie range. Why it matters. Calories aren't all that matter, but they matter most for improving body composition, like decreasing fat and increasing muscle. And the reason why I recommend a calorie range is because using a static target is a bit too rigid. 1,700 to 1,900 calories per day is easier to hit than a strict goal of 1,800 calories per day. How to determine yours. There are a few ways of going about this, so I'll lay out each one from most accurate to least accurate. Most accurate. Set up a calorie deficit. More accurate? Use an online calorie calculator. And least accurate? Take your body weight and multiply it by 10 to 12 to get your daily calorie target. Target two, daily protein minimum why it matters. Eating protein prevents your body from breaking down muscle tissue for energy. And when you're in a calorie deficit, meaning you're burning more calories than you're consuming, your energy stores from food are already limited because you're eating less than maintenance. This means you're at a higher risk of losing muscle mass during a calorie deficit, and eating protein and lifting weights helps fight against that. Many people think that fat is the most satisfying macronutrient but it's actually protein. And since hunger can become an obstacle while dieting, eating higher protein will keep you fuller for longer between meals. How to determine yours. This is going to be individual, but a good start for most is 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight. For example, if someone weighs 150 pounds, we would multiply this by 0.7. That would equal 105. So, A 150-pound person should consume about 105 grams of protein per day. From a safety standpoint, you don't have to worry about eating too much protein, so I'd recommend you start by simply adding more protein to each of your meals going forward. But for best results, track it so you're sure. Note, I give minimums instead of specific targets or a range because it's the easiest to remember and the easiest to stick to. And target three, daily fiber minimum why it matters. 
Fiber has inherent health benefits like aiding digestion, promoting a healthy gut, lowering cholesterol, keeping you fuller for longer, and much more. But the main reason I make my clients hit a fiber minimum is because of the quality of foods that contain fiber in them, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These are the most micronutrient-dense foods we can eat, packed with vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. Therefore, I know my clients are eating a healthy diet even if they are consistently hitting their fiber minimum without supplements. This target is the key to making sure they aren't hitting their calories solely through not-so-nutritious foods. After all, you can't reach your fiber goal if you're consuming all your carbs through Pop-Tarts. How to determine yours. I usually start my clients off at 20 grams of dietary fiber per day minimum with the goal of increasing it once they can hit it regularly with ease. Another good rule is 14 grams of dietary fiber per 1,000 calories consumed. So if a person eats 2,000 calories per day, that would equate to 28 grams of dietary fiber per day. The most important piece, consistency. You may want to jump in with both feet and try to hit all three targets at once. If that feels right, go for it. You might want to try starting with maybe just the calorie range. That's also okay. Whatever you do, Just aim to be more consistent than you were the week before because these targets don't matter much if you can't stick to them. To accelerate results, figure out how to be as consistent as possible and don't BS yourself if progress is slow. In summary, if your goal is to improve body composition and overall health, the most important big rocks for your nutrition are daily calorie range. This is the biggest driver of body composition changes So you want to determine a calorie deficit target and add or subtract 100 calories on both sides to find your range. Then, daily protein minimum. This will aid muscle building and keep you fuller for longer while you're dieting. Aim for 0.7 grams of dietary protein per pound body weight. And get started by eating more protein at each meal. Then, the daily fiber minimum. This promotes a healthy gut, aids digestion, and ensures a micronutrient-dense diet. Aim for 20 grams of dietary fiber per day or 14 grams of dietary fiber per 1,000 calories consumed. Get started by adding a fiber source to each meal. And finally, consistency. Nothing else works without this. You just listened to the post titled My Dead Simple Approach to Healthy Eating by Matt McLeod of mattmcleod.org. Love is in the air and the aisles at Whole Foods Market. Head in now for the love affair and make it a memorable Valentine's Day with great deals on finds like Animal Welfare Certified New York Strip Steaks and Sweets from the Bakery. Set the mood with fresh, beautiful flowers from Whole Foods Market, where Prime members can pick up a double dozen bunch of roses for just $24.99 from February 8th through the 14th. Shop in-store or online. Terms apply. Fall in love at Whole Foods Market. Think about someone who has changed your life for the better. How incredible would it be if your company could find more of those life-changing people right when you needed them? If you're hiring, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's Instant Match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows that finding people with the right skills makes all the difference when you're hiring a team of one. Visit indeed.com slash health to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash health, indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Slow may be the way to go, especially when it comes to increasing dietary fiber intake. When we think about what most Americans consume, we found that they only consume about 10 grams of dietary fiber each day. If you want to get to 20 grams, just as today's author Matt mentioned, you're gonna wanna go slowly. I wouldn't recommend adding 10 grams of fiber to your diet all in one day. Now, 10 grams of fiber doesn't sound like much, but it is. 
Think about it this way. If someone's consuming 10 grams right now and the recommendation is to consume 20 grams each day, that means you're doubling your intake. Doubling your fiber intake all at once can lead to some gastrointestinal discomfort. So think about adding maybe three to five grams of dietary fiber to your diet each week so that in two to three weeks, you'll hit this goal. Also, another pro tip, whenever you increase your dietary fiber intake, make sure that you're staying hydrated too. That will help ease any GI discomfort too. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you're having a great start to your week and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.